we are all going through some trying times, some worse than other. But there is some things that we have to be thankful for. And there are some good things that can come from this. I am Marie Brown and this is my channel, Minds in Motion, where we talk about personal finances, investing, and how to become the best version of ourselves. I must say that this week has actually been one of the best weeks since all of this got started with the pandemic and the market crash and all of the things that have been going on in the economy currently. I can say that we have tons of toilet paper now, which is super exciting. Also, my spouse was able to go back to work full time on his old job. Even though his current job is still closed, he is now working and bringing in a full time income again, which is so exciting. And number two, even though the city that I live in, in the state of Florida, they went on a stay home order my job is considered to be an essential job so we didn't have to close and even though i still have to go out to work every day i don't have the privilege of working from home i'm just glad and blessed that i can go to work and continue to earn money to take care of my family and maybe even to help someone else that may be in need at a later time another thing that i want to talk about is having an emergency fund. For those of you who are somewhat financially prepared or are financially prepared fully, if you have an emergency fund and you had to utilize that emergency fund during this crisis, how long would your emergency fund last? Have you sat down and looked at your emergency fund and looked at your core expenses meaning the things that you just cannot live without, such as rent, food, utilities, and I would say car, if you have a car payment, because in order to get back and forth to work and to be able to provide for your family, most of us probably need a car. So how long would your emergency fund last if you had to simply rely on your emergency fund right now in order to get by for as long as you need it to. And also, if you're operating on a budget or maybe you've never used a budget, maybe this is a good opportunity for you to start gaining some financial literacy, for you to sit down and write down your core expenses. Again, your rent, how much your utilities are, how much your core expenses are in order for you to live and maintain your residence and provide for your family. And then as well, look at anything that you don't need that you can cut out, ways that you can lower your outgo of income so that you can increase your saving of income. Me personally, I try to make sure that my family is living off 50% or less of our income and mainly just one income. Currently, we're living off of about 30% of our total income. We're saving about 35% of the remaining of our income. And then we're investing and we're paying stuff off and getting ahead. It is so important that we constantly analyze our spending, that we're constantly looking for ways to put our income to work. I was always taught that our income is our greatest wealth building tool. Now, in regards to my investments, I have still been investing through the ups and downs of the stock market. However, I have yet to touch my reserves. I've been simply investing my additional money after I pay my bills from my paycheck. I pay weekly. Even after my spouse lost his job, I continued to invest in my investment accounts. If you haven't maxed out your Roth IRA, I would recommend that you max that out currently. And for those of you who have a 401k at work, if you're getting a match, I would definitely recommend that you take care of that. The next thing that I would add is for us to 
not worry about motivation, but to be disciplined. This is an awesome time if you've been wanting to learn a new skill. If you're at home and you have free time on your hand, even if you're working from home, you probably still have a lot of free time on your hand. Let's not waste this time watching TV or watching the news or, you know, just getting in our emotions about what's going on right now today. Let's use this time to come out ahead. Let's use this time to gain financial knowledge, to be better financially when it comes to managing our money, putting our money to work and having more money for the things that we want to do, not just the things that we need to do. Let's get stronger mentally. Our mind is everything. If you believe it within reason, you can achieve it. So let's learn a new skill. Let's take the time out to learn a new hobby. But there are a lot of amazing things that can come from this. And the fact that a lot of us get to spend time with our family that we normally don't get to spend with our family is one of the greatest things that we can gain from this whole situation. I just wanted to give you guys an update of how things were going with me and my family and how we were dealing with these unpredictable times as we all just look forward day by day to what's going to happen. Let's just do what we have to do to make the best of this situation and things that we need to work on, things that we need to fix, things that we've just been wanting to do, but we've been putting them off. Let's start on them today. Let's make up our mind. Let's become disciplined enough to do the things that we've been wanting to do, but we haven't been doing. Let's take this time to get ahead and not fall behind. Again, I am Marie Brown. This is my channel, Minds in Motion. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you've already subscribed, make sure you turn on that bell notification so YouTube alerts you when I make other videos like this. And also be sure to like and leave a comment below because it does help with the YouTube algorithms. I do appreciate all of you guys who support me along the way. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys have a blessed and amazing day. And just know that all things are possible and we will get through this.